हे हेलो एवरी वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अदर वीडियो ऑफ माई चैनल आई एम किशोर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो आई हैव रिसीव दिस मैसेज क्वाइट अ फ्यू टाइम्स दैट हो इधर ईयर गैप मैटर्स इन द प्लेसमेंट आफ्टर एम टेक और मे बी इन द पी एस यू इंटरव्यूज और मे बी इन द पी एच डी इंटरव्यू एनी हुएर सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट आई हैव अ ड्रॉप ऑफ अराउंड वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू ईयर्स फॉर माई गेट प्रिपरेशन सो आई वॉज वर्किंग इन टी सी एस एंड देन आई रिजाइन फ्रॉम फ्रॉम माई जॉब एंड देन आई डिसाइड दैट आई बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट एंड आई टू का ईयर गैप ऑफ अराउंड वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू ईयर्स एंड देन इन इन आई जॉइंट इसरो एंड देन आई रिजाइन फ्रॉम देयर ऑल्सो एंड देन आई जॉइंट आई आई सी सो मेनी पीपल टू आस्क मी दैट दैट टू ईयर्स गैप दैट आई हैव फॉर माई गेट प्रिपरेशन हो दैट दैट हैज क्रिएट एनी प्रॉब्लम इन माई लेटर फेज ऑफ लाइफ लाइक हो दैट आई हैव फेस एनी प्रॉब्लम ड्यू टू दैट गैप ड्यूरिंग माई प्लेसमेंट इन एम टेक और मे बी वेन आई आई वॉज अपियरिंग फॉर पी एच डी इंटरव्यूज हो दैट दैट ईयर गैप कॉस्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फॉर मी सो आई एंड आई नो मेनी पीपल हैव दिस कन्फ्यूजन मेनी पीपल टू थिंक दैट इफ आई टेक अ गैप फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन एंड इवन इफ आई क्रैक दैट एग्जाम सपोज इफ आई एम टेकिंग द गैप फॉर माई गेट प्रिपरेशन एंड इवन इफ आई क्रैक द गेट विद अ वेरी गुड रैंक एंड एन आई गो टू एनी आई आई टीज और आई आई सी फॉर माई एम टेक दैट पर्टिकुलर गैप वुड हैव कॉज एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन माई एम टेक प्लेसमेंट और मे बी इन द लेटर फेज ऑफ माई लाइफ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर हायर स्टडीज सो दैट कन्फ्यूजन आई एम गोइंग टू यू नो क्लैरिफाई इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसिस दैट हाउ वॉज माई एक्सपीरियंस वेन आई वॉज अपियरिंग फॉर द प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यूज और द पी एच डी इंटरव्यूज एंड फ्रॉम माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई आई विल सेयर दैट हाउ मच गैप इज नॉट दैट मच यू नो विल नॉट क्रिएट दैट मच प्रॉब्लम इफ यू टेक एंड हाउ मच गैप यू शूडन टेक सो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो प्लीज डू वॉज द वीडियो टिल एंड एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो एज ए ऑलवेज से इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस पर्टिकुलर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेशन रेगुलरली नो विद फर्दर एड यू रेस्ट स्टार्ट टू डेज वीडियो नो लेट्स फर्स शेयर माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट आई वॉज वर्किंग फॉर टी सी एस and in 2015 i resigned from tcs i quit my job and started preparing for gate full time and from 2015 to 2017 around 2 years i have prepared for gate full time and i didn't have a job that time so in the meantime i appeared for isro interviews and in the in the particular interview i and the panel has asked me that whether i have why i have taken this year gap and why i have this kind of that time i had around one year of year gap when i was appearing for the interview and the panel asked me that why you have taken this year gap and i have justified my my reason that i want to prepare for the isro exam as well as the gate exam and this competitive exams are very tough and i was personally feeling that i am not much interested in the job so that's why i was thinking that i have to you know i i i will be doing uh, i will be i'll be very satisfied if i prepare for the for the exams uh, full time because i was not satisfied doing the job so that's why i was feeling that if i give my focus fully on the on the on the on the preparation then i'll be much more satisfied and so that's why uh, i have quit the job and preparing for for the gate exam as well as the isro exam and eventually i cracked that exam in 2017 so i personally feel that they have accepted my reason uh, positively and they didn't find any any wrong in it so yeah i mean for isro interview that was my justification i have i have just said honestly what i felt and what i did and from the result it is kind of evident that they have taken it in a positive way yeah now coming to the mtech placement part so when i was appearing for placement uh, in, in during my mtech at isc so i was appearing for data science profile and i have appeared for four companies total in in first two slots and in the interviews nobody has asked me about this particular reason because most of the interviews was technical interviews and they, they the, the 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 interviewer has asked me only the technical questions there was no h around as such and yeah i mean the most of the most of the round i have faced uh, during my uh, technical interviews that was related to technical staff related to machine learning data science because i personally feel if this, this reason is that much you know kind of um, significant then they wouldn't have taken uh, consider you for the for the for the interview because you you know there are some it companies who is to consider this year gap and they when they see there is more than one one year year gap they won't choose you even for the for the interview but in iisc it was not the case. Yes, they will just look you the look your CV and the projects that you have done uh, in IISC, and based on that they will choose you. And if you give the interview, they will they will select you. So I personally haven't faced any kind of difficulties uh, during my placement at IISC. Now coming to the PhD interview part. So when I was appearing for PhD interviews in different IITs and IISC, there also this age gap was not that much significant. 
so obviously in the phd interview first they will verify your whole career like when when you have done your btech then what you are doing then when you have done your mtech and all so that time in some iits this uh, this fact has come out that i have a year gap of 2 years so i had told them that because of gate preparation i have taken the year gap and then they asked me what was your gate uh, rank and i told my gate rank that was pretty good and they they were okay the panel was uh, panel was okay with that so yeah i mean this year gap had never that much prop create that much problem for me because i had never face any kind of problem because of the year gap or because of the fact that i have started my mtech or higher studies at the very late age like i have started my mtech in 28 and i started my phd journey is around 30 so that has ne never created a problem at especially from the for the phd and even for the different job interviews where i have appeared there also this particular factor has never been a problem for me now coming to the fact that what you should do uh, if you are someone who is thinking of gate or mtech and if you are not a fresh candidate suppose you are working for some company you have worked for some time and you now you are thinking that you want to go for gate or high studies like you want to do a mtech and then move to some product based companies and all then what what you should do so suppose if you are someone who has a kind of you know long career like after a btech there is no drop suppose you have worked for some companies for 5 to 6 years then easily i mean if you are if you if you have cracked your gate exam you can easily go for for your mtech you shouldn't be worried about that because uh, whatever experience you have gained that that is actually helpful for you and that won't be considered as a gap because you are working for some company so don't don't think that that will be a gap like you have done your btech like 6 year before and now you are thinking of switching to mtech and then and then suppose in the in the in the, in the product based companies or phd so that won't, won't be a problem at all because i have seen many people so if you see my podcast there are few people who are you know who are who are who are working in some company and then they crack the gate then they quit their job and go for the mtech and successfully completed mtech and then move to the product based company so if you are someone uh, who 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 doesn't have a full full time gap who are working in some company for last 5 to 6 years and now if you have cracked the exam gate exam and if you are thinking whether you should go for gate or not then you should definitely go for gate because this year gap that is not actually a year gap that is that will be counted as your experience now suppose you are someone who is thinking of taking a year gap and you are thinking how much year gap you should take uh, uh, to to prepare for the gate exam i personally suggest you around 2 to 3 years gap if you take for prepare for any competitive exam being it gate or any such exam that won't be that much problematic because people understand how difficult it is to crack this competitive exam so that's why you know if you take a year gap of 1 to 2 years or maximum 3 years that won't be any problem in the in the interview panel in the future you will just mention it that i had taken this gap because i was sincere about the exam and i was not enjoying the job i was doing so that's why i quit my job and prepared for the gate exam and and it took me some some time to crack the exam because the exam is pretty much competitive and if you at the end of that year gap if you end up with a very good rank then nobody will ask any question i personally feel because that that shows that you are very dedicated and you didn't wasted those 2 to 3 years you have utilized it that's why you have a pretty good gate rank so that's why if you are thinking of dropping a year or maybe you have already drop a year and thinking of dropping another year so make sure you will be having a good rank within 2 to 3 years not more than that because if you if you can crack it within 2 to 3 years this year gap won't be that much problematic but there is a catch here so if you are someone uh, who are, who who is not able to crack a particular exam for 4 to 5 years then it's a serious concern for you because that much gap will be creating a problem for you in the future life because people won't you know understand it that you know why you have you have taken so much long year a gap and if, if at all if you can't crack the exam at the end of 5 years then your life will be really in danger so that's why i always suggest you that you can try it for 1 to 2 years or maximum 3 years and if it is not happening with if you if you have tried it for 3 years taking a full time drop dedicatedly preparing for the examination gate examination then i think you should you should you know think of something else because you shouldn't take more than 3 years gap uh for exam like gate because if you can't crack is uh, after taking 3 years of gap there are then there are something you are missing from the very basic and that is not fixable i mean you can't fix it preparing for another 2 years so that's why maximum 3 years gap you can take i i still think 
third year is kind of a uh, alarming because two years is sufficient if you go for the three years then it's kind of uh, you know do or die situation if you can't crack it on the third year uh, taking a graph then 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 you have to start thinking of something else so please keep this in mind because i know for many people who are preparing for gate for four to five years and they couldn't crack it and personally feel that then if you go for finding a job anywhere then people will start asking you that where you were for last five years what you were doing and why you couldn't achieve what you were planning before you know for the five for the five years so that's why keep this in mind that maximum three years gap you can take but not more than that yeah that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope i have clarify many of your doubts that many of you have this doubt that how much year gap you can take and what are the consequences you have to face if you have if you if you will take a year gap i think by ho i by now uh, you you came to know about all the points i have shared my personal experiences and personal views on this particular topic and i hope it will be helpful for all of you who will be preparing for gate exam in the coming year so that's it guys that's it about today's video if you like the video please hit a like and share this video to many many other people so that it will be helpful for them and if you are new to this particular channel i used to make videos regarding gate isro iits isc phds and i used to share my experiences in this particular channel through different videos so if you are interested in, in knowing in this and uh, in these areas so please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i will upload a new video you will get instant notification so that's it guys that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye